BBF fam. Alright, today we got something special for you. We're gonna be in the lab cooking. We got John's cookbook right here. You feel me? John's cookbook today. We'll be cooking. Chicken pot pie. Homemade chicken pot pie. Like your grandma used to do it. Ingredient list, as my cookbook says, we finna need four cups of carrots and peas, one onion, two celery sticks, optional. You can do more, but I don't really like celery, so I'm chilling out that. Two pie crusts already made. And you're gonna need one cup of flour. 16 tablespoons of butter, two sticks, chicken broth, two bouillon cubes to, you know, enhance that flavor a little bit. Gonna need a nice little chicken right here. Four cups of chicken or turkey, whatever one you got leftovers, you know, best throw it in. And actually, we need an egg too. Need one egg for the egg wash. You make it golden brown. So that's my ingredient list. It's gonna be the best chicken pot pie you've ever had in your life. You can quote me to that. Oh my God, I'm crying. These onions is hitting my eyeball. All right, now that you got that cut, we're gonna move to the pan. You got everything cut. Celery, your onions, you know. Some adjustments you need to. Try not to cry. I've got everything cut up from the onions and chicken. There it is, the celery. You can get that chicken chicken broth with the bouillon cubes, you know, enhance the flavor. Get that boiling. We're gonna work on the onions. I'll show y'all. Alright, next step we got that pan on high. Add that chicken broth. 32 ounces. Throwing one. You can use better than bouillon, anything you want to use. Break it up. Don't let that boil up. Let that come to a boil. While we're working on our, we use one for now. I don't know. You know what? If we need more, we'll add more. That's starting to dissolve. We we'll only use one of these. We only need four cups. So we use one, save the other. You can make, probably make it better if you make your own chicken stock, but if you want it done today, just go out and buy it. That simple. That's starting to heat up. Move that to this side. Throwing our two sticks of butter. Oh yeah, it's hot. No, I forgot to do it at the other one. It's still boiling on this side. 
Just break it up. Let that one dissolve. Smack it in there. seconds here you're gonna start smelling it the onions and that butter something about that that aroma come off you have everyone coming out their rooms let that cook down check on your bra make sure it's breaking up Keep watching your temperature, you don't want to burn nothing. You're always good. Start smelling it right now. Alright, our onions are coming a little bit translucent. Now we're going to come with some flour, grab your whisk, keep that wrist moving, add a little bit at a time. This is making your roux. This right one. Do this at the same time you're doing your chicken bra, having that all melt down. Do a little bit more. Now, I always feel I messed this part up, but you know what? We're going to get it right today. This is one cup of flour. You want to make sure you cook all that, all that flour taste out. You don't want your pot pot to be tasting like raw flour. A little bit at a time, keep that wrist moving. You know what we're gonna do? Still wanna keep it moving. But we're gonna add a little bit of this chicken stock right now. Just so we have more liquid. I don't feel like it was enough. We'll keep that moving. And it's your you're cooking, so you know, put a little spin on any recipe you do. To make it work. Do what you gotta do to make it work. Right now it's looking like some some golden mashed potatoes. We'll be all right. Still need to come in with the rest of that flour. Make sure you're keeping that wrist moving. A little bit more chicken broth, because you know. Keep it all going. A little bit more of that flour. Can't let it clump up too much. Add the rest of that flour in there. Mix that in, cook that down. Get that flour taste out. Be careful not to burn the roux. It's the biggest step. Probably being the hardest step in this whole cooking process right here is not to burn the roux. And just keep watching your temperature. Get that to a nice color. Probably take like one to two minutes. 
keep everything moving. Okay, now we're going to add that chicken stock. Just a little bit right now, get that mixed up. Remember, you can always add more, you can't take it out. That mixed up, it's going to start to smell real good in a second. Yeah, it's turning to a turn to a gravy. Start adding some more. You can make it as thick and runny as you like. Add the rest of this. Put that to the side. Turn that pan off. Right here's when it starts all coming together. They're halfway done right now. You know what I'm gonna do? I like mine a little bit more runny. Luckily, I bought two of these. Add in a little bit more. Don't burn yourself. Still keep it mixing. It's just going to be real thick once you add everything. So I'm going to make mine a little bit more runny. Add some more chicken stock. Right now I'm going to add a little bit of... A little bit of black pepper. And get to the consistency. You like your pot pies. That nice and smooth. Everything's all nice and mixed. There's no big, big clumps. You can add... Another thing, you can add uh, potatoes to this. Potatoes are real good. Pot pies. You can do beef, beef pot pie. Today we're doing chicken. But it's the same thing. Just use beef stock instead of chicken broth, chicken stock. Add whatever you like carrot, celery, peas. I'm not a big pea fan, but you know what? It's in there, so. You bring this to Thanksgiving, they're going to make you bring it every year. Christmas, invite you to all the little cookouts. Coming with our, our vegetables. Spring love one. We're going to introduce the celery. Our fresh celery, frozen. There we go. Frozen peas, get that all mixed in. You see it? It's coming together. It's looking like it's supposed to. But yeah, just if you want to add potatoes, I recommend doing that. I should have done that. But you know, I forgot. Add some potatoes. Dice them like the same size you dice the chicken. Speaking on that, I diced my chicken already off camera. About four cups. You got four cups of peas and, and carrots in here. You know, those peas are frozen, so they're going to cool everything down. So just bring it to a heat, keep it moving. We can give it a little taste test. See what we need. It's always good to taste your food. It's a little taste test. Nice little gravy. Yeah, that's good right there. A little bit of salt. Oh, it's breathing on me. Breathing on me. I'm gonna show y'all a little overhead view. See that right there? It's looking like it's supposed to. I'm gonna set my oven now. Probably should have had the oven set, but can't be perfect. First cooking video, so you don't have to bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. You can do, you can make your own chicken, chicken breast, chicken thighs. I just got a little rotisserie chicken. Yeah, I just got a little rotisserie chicken. Broke that up, diced it up. 
you know, it's going to work as magic, though. You got leftover chicken. This is a perfect recipe for leftovers, though. Leftover turkey, chicken. That's looking like a pot pie right there. You eat that right now. I'm going to set my oven to 450. Just follow the, you got pie crust. Just follow the recipe on the pie crust. Mine says 450, yours say 350. They all, they differ. Yeah, we're looking good right now. We're just going to let that heat up, let the oven heat up. Okay, still keep an eye on all your food. Keep an eye on everything. So, everything's cooked, the oven preheating. I'm going to take our, our, our filling and start filling it up. Fill each of these trays. I got a square one because I don't know all we got. But little pie trays. You use whatever. So now we're going to be filling them up. We'll start with this one. This one look better. So this, and I'll put a good amount in there. Then dump and go. Let's see how, see how that does. Yeah, we got a little bit more. That should be good. Now we're gonna take, we'll fill them both up. That's one done. We add the pie crust now. Throw this on the side. Oops. Clean up our mess. Like I said, keep it clean. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, this is one pot. This is two. It's pretty warm right now. <sighs> Fresh ingredients. <laughs> Put that on. Smack it a little bit. You know, dude, we're going to cut it up. Don't cut yourself. And you know, make your nice little pie crust. Yeah, I don't know how to do that part, so we're just gonna skip that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it could need some work. Make it look like a pie. Mm-hmm. This side looks real ugly, but you know what? I bet it tastes good, better than the frozen ones. All right, so that's done. One done. Look at that. I almost just spilled everything, but don't forget this thing. Second dough. This one got some beauty marks on it. It's all good. It's falling apart. Just plop that on. I'm gonna make this one look nice. Yeah, back in culinary school, I was never the baker. Actually, I was never the designer. That's yeah. Don't do that. Don't get distracted with a knife in your hand. You can cut off a toe. And you know what? You could need four of these, four little pie crusts, but that's only, the way I make it, the, the way I make it, I don't do pie crust at the bottom. I just do pie crust at the top. But if you're gonna do pie crust at the bottom, 
you put the pie crust, cut it to shape, just so you have a nice crust at the bottom, and you bake it for like 10 to 12 minutes, let it get golden brown. Then you add the filling, and then you add the top layer. That's why each box, each little box comes with two. Y'all probably already knew this by now, but I don't do pie crust at the bottom, only at the top. They're ready to go in the oven. <laughs> Follow me. Take you on this journey. See, we got our oven set to 450. Nice, nice, nice. Open that up. Make sure your babies and toddlers don't jump in the oven. Roll that in. Up top. Oh, don't throw it in. We need to cut that out the video. How'd I forget? Or egg wash. Get this nice and split over this. Alright, we got that all egg washed out. Looking, looking perfect. Both of them. Now we're going to come with the throw a baking sheet under. Throw a baking sheet under just because it might not guarantee, but it might boil over. Set the first one in. And the second one in. Just like that. I'm going to put it in for, it's at 450, so I'm going to put it in about, check it every 10 minutes till it's golden brown. Alright, okay, so this is after 10 minutes. I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. Make sure it's all the way. Those all the way cooked, a little flowing over. You know, just like the ones you cook in the microwave. The ones you cook in the microwave always flow over. But you know what, this ain't the microwave. It's John's kitchen in the lab. Just took them out the oven. It's about 35 minutes in the oven. I lowered the temperature down to 350. Just because I thought it was cooking too fast. It wasn't going to cook the dough all the way through. Look at this, how they look. Let them cool down. Alright, YouTube. We got a first. Oops, that's my fault. Okay, it's not perfect because we didn't put a bottom crust on. I'm gonna need y'all not to come for me in that part. Not everybody likes the bottom crust. Here's the finished product. I'm gonna let this taste test. Get a little bit of everything in there. A little bit of everything. A little bit of chicken. See how flaky that is? Perfect. Here y'all go. Just play. It's my bite. See that magic? I feel like I'm never centered. No, no, no. Just let it go up. Like, down here. Let it go up. Alright. Taste test is hot. You want to taste test too, Zerk? It's good. Keep leaving, give me a 8.5. For sure, you're right on. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right. For sure, for sure. We think what we think. Y'all go shop at John's Kitchen. That's John's kitchen on Instagram. Get yourself a bite. Alright, uh, YouTube. That's my cooking video. You know, a little rough, but you know, we'll get there. It's a work in progress. 
bro. Keep, <laughs> keep making these cooking videos. You're gonna get right. <laughs>